Richard, Elvis Presley's big return to live performance in 1969 in Las Vegas was not the first time he performed in the city. What was his experience back in 1956? Right. He was just coming up in 1956, his big breakthrough year. And uh, he had one hit at that point, Hate Heartbreak Hotel. He hadn't even appeared on the Ed Sullivan Show yet. But the colonel, Colonel Parker, booked him into the New Frontier in Las Vegas uh, on a bill with Freddie Martin's orchestra and Shecky Green. It was pretty odd uh, in 1956 for the Las Vegas crowd, that nightclub crowd, middle-aged mostly. And this, you know, hip-shaking kid from Memphis, they didn't know what to make of him. So he did not get particularly good reviews. It was not considered a success. Uh, But Elvis, you know, it was an important engagement for him for a couple of reasons. One, he, he used to go see lounge singers while he was, you know, in between his shows. And he saw a group called Freddie Bell and the Bell Boys who were doing a kind of rocking version of Big Mama Thornton's song, Hound Dog. Well, that's where he discovered Hound Dog. He put it into his act recorded it a couple months later, and it obviously it was one of his signature hits. So they, he used their uh, kind arrangement of, for it? Yes, if you kind of listen to some of his early live recordings of it before he actually recorded, uh, recorded it, it sounds a little bit more like Freddie Bell and the Bow Boys. He adapted it gradually to, to his own. But they did a sort of rock and roll. It was kind of lounge show rock and roll, and Elvis just made it a little raw and more uh, interesting. Uh, the other thing in Las Vegas, he met Liberace, who uh, is not a performer you usually associate with uh, Elvis Presley. But Liberace was a big star in Vegas, and Elvis was kind of having problems. So the colonel went over to see Liberace at the Riviera, Riviera Hotel and said, you know, could you help out my boy a little, come by and see his show, take some publicity shots with him. And Liberace did that. He was He was a very generous performer. And he gave Elvis one piece of advice. He said, I think your show needs more glitz. And uh, Elvis was actually influenced by Liberace. I think he really appreciated his showmanship. And sure enough, a few months later, he was wearing a gold lame, on tour, he was wearing a gold lame jacket, very much like the one Liberace was wearing in Vegas. That's 50 million Elvis fans can't be wrong. Yeah. Gold he, jacket. Uh, something like that. But he... he uh, and he and Liberace were friendly throughout their lives, and uh, Liberace uh, was a big help, I think, to Ve- to Elvis at the beginning, and Elvis appreciated it. He always um, felt grateful that, that Liberace went out of his way to help a young kid. <laughs> 